Hi, first grade. Today, I'm going to talk about strong statement. All right. Normally, we start a strong statement with something like "You need to go right now to wherever it may be." So, if I was doing my Cold Stone Creamery, my strong statement might be, "You need to go get the ice cream right now from Cold Stone Creamery." Okay. So, let me show you this other story that I found. So my introduction, I talked yesterday saying that I'm going to talk about the riddle. So this is how you would do a riddle. Do you like reading comic books? Do you? So that's my question actually right there. Actually, these are all questions. Sorry, guys. So these are all questions. So let me talk about riddle really quick. So a riddle might be a way I could start off with saying, I am soft, fluffy, and yummy. What am I? And then I can answer saying, I'm a cupcake. And my review could be like, how delicious cupcakes are. Okay, get it? How you would do a riddle? Um, for this one, I actually did a question. So my question is: Do you like comic? Do you like reading comic books? Do you love Batman or Spider Man or Wonder Woman? Do you ever wish you had superpowers? So this is using a question. If I wanted to change it to a riddle, I might say so something like: Look at the sky. What's that flying? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it is the Incredibles. So that could have been how I did the riddle. Okay, my strong statement. What we're learning today is right here. So let me see. So my introduction, I asked the question: Do you ever wish you had superpowers? If you do, then you need to go see The Incredibles right now. Everything you love about superheroes is in this movie. So this, boys and girls, is my strong statement. A lot of time, your strong statement. Is is good enough that you don't need to state your opinion again because your opinion is inside your strong statement. Do、so、you guys understand what I mean? So by me saying this, if you do, then you need to go see The Incredibles right now. Everything you love about superheroes is in this movie. Boys and girls, what's my opinion? Do you think I love The Incredibles or not? I do. I obviously love them because my strong statement is telling the reader that it's so awesome. They need to go scurry over there right now to go see this movie. Right, all right. So that is what strong statement is about. Okay, it's saying something. It's basically bossiness, kind of. It's telling your readers that, oh my goodness, this is so good. You got to do it right now. You got to go right now. So if I was writing about the, remember the game yesterday that I talked about the review for the game, I could be writing for my strong statement. Let me see if I could find it. Actually, hold on. Give me a second. No, I think I closed it. Okay, so for my game yesterday, my strong statement might have been, "You need to go find this game right now so you can play it with your family." Okay, so those are strong statement. Really think of it as a bossy statement. Okay, now let's look at my what is it and my reasons. Okay, just because I think you guys would like to hear it. The movie is about a whole bunch of superheroes, except they act and sort of look like a normal family. Mr. Incredible used to be one of the toughest superheroes, but now he works in a boring office. His wife Helen has also given up her superhero outfit, and now she uses her special powers to be a mom. Their son Dash uses his super speed to be great at sports. Violet, who has the ability to turn invisible and close herself inside a force field, acts like any normal teenager. The baby Jack.、Uh, Jack doesn't seem to have any superpowers at all. At least not yet. The evil villain syndrome starts up the action, and the Incredibles are back in superhero mode in no time. So this, boys and girls, is my what is it and my reasons all combined into it. Okay. Now, when you're doing a review on movies or a book, you gotta be. It's very, very important not to spoil the ending. Okay, so when you're describing what the movie is about, you can talk about stuff that everyone would know, like maybe the characters, maybe something that happens in the beginning of the movie. Okay, but don't spoil it by telling them what how it ends. Okay, or whether or not Jack has superpowers. Like no, because they might not have never seen the movie before. Okay, same thing for books. Don't spoil the ending. When you're writing a review, people are reading it to see whether or not they want to go see this movie. Okay, so if I am thinking,、hmm, do I really want to watch The Incredibles today, or should I go watch Batman? 
maybe I'll read this review and be like, wow, this sounds really, really good. I want to see this movie. All right? So don't spoil the ending. So today, make sure you try to add a strong statement in your writing. Okay? Have fun. I'll see you guys later. Bye.